Good morning, men and women of Christ. Glad to be back with you with part three of this spirit-led teaching. Uh, the insecurity of the flesh is the insecurity of the flesh is uh, the fruit of the unborn again spirit. If you have insecurity in the flesh and you're subject to that insecurity in the flesh, then, and you have no authority over that insecurity in the flesh, then your spirit is in an unborn again state outside of Christ. Your spirit is in an unborn again state outside of Christ if that happens. If that is the case. Ephesians 1 3, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings. All what? All spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. No physical blessings, spiritual blessings. Everything is going to follow those blessings. As you uh, receive those blessings, He speaks those uh, blessings to your spirit. To the soul and the body will come the, the fruit of the spirit, which is the fruit of security. Because his work is not going to return unto him void. But it shall prosper in where, where I have sent it. If God has put his word in you, that word is going to prosper in you. Christ is going to become uh, bigger than you. He's going to prosper in you and become fruitful through you. He's not talking about the written word. He's talking about the living word. So, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. In Christ. So, all spiritual blessings are in Christ. All spiritual blessings. Romans 4, 11 through 13. Philippians 4, 11 through 13. 11 says, For I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. 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 You can't buy contentment. Contentment comes through, the, through being eternally restored back to Christ. That's where contentment is. Contentment is in the spirit of Christ. For whatsoever state I am, therefore I have learned to be content. I know how to abase. And I, I know how to abound. I, he know how to be abased and he know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. You see the circumstances and situations that are contrary to faith? 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, meaning he was an overcomer. Uh, the Lord was allowing the various of circumstances and situations in the flesh in order to cause you to outgrow the flesh according to the eternal manhood and womanhood in the spirit. That you, you, you get back in the originality of manhood and the originality of womanhood, which is not the male and the female. <coughs> Part 3, 1, Colossians 3, 1 through 4. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. If you then be risen with Christ, it says if you're risen with Christ, to seek those things where uh, Christ is at the right hand of God, that's the heavenly places. Set your affections on things above, not on things on earth. Set your affections on things above, not on things on earth. Uh, we're not out here trying to secure possessions so that we can have se in, uh, security in possessions. We're out here in the world. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it says to set your affection on things above, not on things on earth. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. So our affections are to be set on the uh, things above, not on things on earth. 
For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. Because we're going to be in him uh, as men and women. We're going to be in him we're going to be in him pertaining to the spirit. We, we, we're going to outgrow the flesh. When he manifests in the flesh, we're going to manifest into the flesh with him. This is what you call outgrowing the flesh so that the flesh can come under the eternal government of the spirit. Your flesh cannot come under the government of your spirit, which is in Christ, until you outgrow the flesh. In that fallen state, that fallen mindset, we were limited to the flesh. Now, once we're born of the spirit, we have to outgrow the flesh so that the flesh can come back under the eternal security of the spirit. And this brings us to a conclusion of part three of this teaching. And I know this teaching will be a blessing to all those that come in contact with it. Love you with the love of Christ. And I'll see you next time.